A new trend is growing, literally, and harvesting vegetables is gaining steam in the Niagara region. Startup Vision Greens launching a vertical farming facility in Welland, an indoor and soilless operation that aims to fill in the gaps of a supply crunch and high food costs. Jason Guidola has more. They say they're producing 12 and a half acres worth of greens within 2,000 square feet indoors and aim to make a dent in Canada's food import system. There's a decrease in arable land and there's a scarcity of fresh water. So uh, people want healthy food, but they don't want to have to pay a premium for it. Last May, Vision Greens began operation at their well and facility entering the business of vertical farming, an environment controlled and pesticide free operation producing lettuce, basil and arugula stacked on 12 rows and under tailored lighting. CEO Lenny Lewis says his goal is to bring food safety, security and sustainability following disruptions in the food supply chain and previous E. coli outbreaks with other growers. Uh, this is product coming in from California in the U.S. Uh, there was no uh, sense of traceability. And at that time, the pandemic also shed a light on the fact that it was hard to get food into the country uh, because of uh, border issues, trucking issues. Here at the facility, soil is not being used to grow the leafy greens. Instead, they're using a hydroponic system. It's where the roots are submerged in nutrient-filled water. Lewis says from seed to harvest, they can produce a veggie within 30 days, compared to 40 to 60 on the farm. And currently, the operation is rolling out 350,000 pounds of greens and will expand to nearly three quarters of a million by October. Data from a 2021 Census of Agriculture suggests Ontario is losing 319 acres of farmland daily. One war, one anything, and all of a sudden those food sources aren't there anymore. Professor of Bioresource Engineering at McGill University, Mark Lebsrud, believes domestic vertical farming could cut into a third of lettuce imports alone, reserved from California and beyond. So I think that we could cut into probably about 25% of the total food production within Canada is what we potentially could do if you look at all the fruits and vegetables. We'll never cut into the, for the corn or the wheat. As for the consumer's pocket, Lewis adds his final product is on par with imports in store right now, but may be able to beat the price point in the future. The acceleration of the price increase is much faster from product coming in from California than it is for us uh, locally grown. Vision Greens plan to expand in the GTA and in Western Canada. Jason Guidola, CHCH News, Welland.